I know we said we weren't going to vlog today, but I'm thinking that we might now. Just a little bit though, but not while we're at the wedding. Maybe a couple shots at the wedding, but. See those hairs? I don't know if you can or not, but. See those hairs? I need to shave. So, yeah, let's do that. No, wait, 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 put your back out. Hold it for a second, lift up for a second. One, two, click. Beautiful. Tomorrow is Mother's Day here yep. in the United States of America. We are quickly on our way to get our mothers some flowers for Mother's Day before the wedding. And I have to be there at 10.45 and it is currently 9.58. So... Gonna be kinda close. This will be a fun time. We'll be, so, we'll be fine. There we go. Join us on our journey as we write our story. Let's go. Okay, okay. We have got the flowers for our mothers. Time to quick rush home and get ready for the wedding. Golly gee. Sorry, I got, got a little carried away with my turn there. Time to head home, get ready for the wedding. I gotta be there at 1045. It's not until two though. But that's because I'm, I'm filming it for them. Hence why there probably won't be much footage from the wedding. Yeah. Flowers are good. They made it. They made the trip back. I'm sure my, our moms will love them. Mm-hmm. Okay. Now I need to go get changed, get ready, and sign their card and write stuff in their card so that way I can be to the church in 20 minutes. And go. I'm late. I'm late. I'm late. I'm late. I'm late. I'm ready, but I'm late, late, late. It's currently 10.40, gotta be there at 10.45. I am rushing to my vehicle. Oh boy, it is 10.50 and I just got to the church. And I'm late. Now I'm gonna go film, so I'm gonna hang up. See you guys later. So Austin just left for going to help film the wedding. They're going to start with the reveal. So I'm just at home. I was doing a little tidying up. And then now I'm going to do some dishes and have some brunch, I guess. I don't know. It's kind of like the in-between time. Alrighty. Well, I just got breakfast done. Makes toast and oranges. So let's dig in. Just got done taking some video during the pictures and the first reveal and whatnot. Wedding's about to start. It went a little bit longer than we thought it would, but that's my sister. Hi. His love never is envious or boils over with jealousy. His love is not boastful or vainglorious, does not display itself haughtily. It's not conceited, arrogant, and inflated with pride. God's love is not rude or unmannerly, does not act unbecomingly. God's love in us does not insist on its own rights or its own way, for it's not self-seeking. It is not touchy, fretful, or resentful. It takes, I love this one, it takes no account of the evil done to it. It pays no attention to a suffered wrong. God's love does not rejoice in injustice and unrighteousness, but rejoices when right and truth prevail. 
God's love bears up under everything, anything and everything that comes. It's ever ready to believe the best of every person. Its hopes are fadeless under all circumstances, and God's love endures everything without weakening. God's love never fails. Back from the wedding. Yay. How was it? It was fun. I enjoyed it. Good. It was really pretty. Mm-hmm. Tiana. Yes. Hi. Hi. How was the wedding? It was very fun. Good. And beautiful. Good. I like their dances. It was that cute. was cute. And emotional. <laughs> Tiana got <laughs> so emotional. I did. <laughs> I get emotional at weddings. But that's that's okay. okay. I got emotional during the the, the, the mother son one. Yeah. She his mom she was car crying in his shoulder. When Camille started crying though, and I started listening to the lyrics of the father daughter one, I was like, "You'll always be my little girl." I'm like, "Oh, oh, that's sad." But it was really nice. Mm -hmm. And they couldn't have had better better weather for it. No, it's beautiful. beautiful. Absolutely perfect. Look at it. It's so gorgeous outside. <laughs> Look at it. Beautiful. It's like yesterday. Yep. Not quite as hot though, which is nice. Tomorrow's supposed to be 85. Whoop. We're going back to Lake Vermilion. <laughs> <laughs> I want to go to a lake. Take me with you. Jump in the water. <laughs> yeah, let's go to Lake Vermilion. Let's jump in the water. It'll be fun. <laughs> I heard it was cold. No, it was amazing. <laughs> no, you were like, fur, it's freezing. <laughs> ah. Okay, but I got used to it though. But for Once for I'm going to eat like now. Yay. Like Leftover meat. food from yesterday. <laughs> Woo. Especially baked beans. Alrighty. I'm beat. I'm pooped. I think we're gonna just relax a little bit. Take a nap. I might take a nap anyways. I might take a nap too. We'll see. Yeah. So far it's been a pretty good day though. Yeah. We'll pretty see, good. We'll see what the rest of today's story brings. Did a lot of relaxing. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. No napping, though. No napping, sadly. That's kind of okay. got distracted. But I I feel refreshed a little bit anyways. But at least the other day. Can we talk? Sure. Oh, we were talking about, like, our personality differences is kind and kind of, like, it, the difference between introvert and extroverted. And, like, he had a different impression of what it was. So we were talking about how it's basically, like, how you react to, like, social situations and whether... You know, you need time alone, or if you actually, like, being around a lot of people and stuff energizes you. So, um, we were talking about it, and I was like, you know, I can be both, though, kind of like an, in like, I think I might be, like, an extroverted introvert, and he's like, that's not a thing. <laughs> and so, then, I took the test, and I'm an ambivert, which means you're both. It's just a fancy word for extroverted introvert. So now he's going to take the test, and we're going to find out what he is. Mm-hmm. That's pretty much it. <laughs> My results. You're an ambivert. This means that you're neither strongly introverted nor strongly extroverted. Recent research by Adam Grant at the University of Pennsylvania's Wharton School of Management has found that ambiverts make the best salespeople. Ambiverts tend to be adept at the quality of attunement. They know when to push and when to hold back and when to speak up and when to shut up. So don't foil, don't fall for the myth of the extroverted sales star. Just keep being your ambiverted self. That's really difficult to read and do through looking through the camera because that's <laughs> what I was doing. We're also the same thing. Yay! Get along pretty well. Yeah. That's cool. Woo! <laughs> well, one of the things we did while relaxing though is we watched we watched John Steingard's vlog. 
He's awesome. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. It's a thing that we just watch them together. We don't watch them. Like, yeah, we have to be together to watch it. Yeah. This angle might not be flattering. We'll see. Why are you doing it? I don't know. Let's switch things up, babe. Oh, I gotta keep it fresh. Yeah, we gotta keep everything fresh. Fresh to death. Stay fresh to death. <laughs> what? That was probably super zoomed in. I was gonna say that probably was too zoomed. Well, That's we'll okay. find out. That's okay. Hi. Hi. I guess when this video goes up, it'll be Mother's Day. Yeah. So happy Mother's Day. To in all the, the in the United States, anyways. I don't know if it's it's not worldwide because I, I, I know that there was a thing. England that, is different, or well, at least the UK. I know Australia is different. is different too. Yeah. But hey, at least here we're celebrating tomorrow. Yeah. Happy Mother's Day. Right. To all the fabulous moms out there. Bye. High five. <laughs> Did you like me? Yeah. Is this on? Yeah. Can you stop?